Now to the coronavirus pandemic. An independent FDA advisory committee is expected to vote today on whether to authorize the use of the Pfizer COVID vaccine for children ages 5 to 11. CBS 4's Deborah Alfaron is at the White House with the details. The FDA could vote to authorize the use of the Pfizer COVID vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. The vaccine meets all safety data expectations and meets immunobridging criteria and that 90.7% efficacy was observed. About 28 million children could be eligible for the two-shot lower-dose vaccine. The CDC still has to vote on it as well, and final approval could come as early as next week. FDA officials say the need for vaccinations for children is clear, as about 9% of all COVID cases involve kids in the 5 to 11 age group. And there have also been close to 100 deaths making it one of the top 10 causes of death in this age range during this time. And the CDC says COVID infections are impacting learning as well. In this school year today, more than 2,000 schools had unplanned closures impacting more than a million students. The White House says it has secured enough Pfizer doses to vaccinate every eligible child, and those doses will be going to pharmacies and pediatricians' offices as soon as the FDA votes. And these vaccine doses will be shipped with all the supplies needed to vaccinate kids, including smaller needles. Moderna says it will soon ask for approval for its low-dose vaccine for kids. Moderna says its vaccine is safe and effective for kids 6 to 11. The study of more than 4,700 kids shows the vaccine creates a strong immune response. The majority of adverse effects were mild to moderate, like fatigue, headache, and fever. Deborah Alfaron, CBS News, the White House. And the FDA is still reviewing Moderna's data for kids ages 12 to 17. The Pfizer vaccine is already approved for teens in that age group.